Okay, welcome back to AlgoJS. In today's question, we're going to be looking at Elite Code 101 Symmetric Tree. So given the root of a binary tree, check whether it is a mirror of itself, so symmetric around its center. So in this first example, we are comparing the left subtree with the right subtree, so around the center, and this is going to return true because they are mirror images of each other. With it in example two, these are not mirror images because the right value here should be compared to this value here, which is null, and the left value on this side is null, whereas the right value here is three, so those are not equal, so we can return false. So let's dive into the solution. So we will be using recursion for this solution. However, this is a bit more tricky than just your normal recursion because we're going to have to be comparing this value with this value, as well as comparing these two values. So this is going to be a divide and conquer approach. With that being said, we need some base cases, right? that are going to allow us to pop out of this recursive call. So we have three trees down here to walk us through the cases. So within this first example, let's say we get down to this level where we have null here, null here, null here, null here. So we are comparing these two, for example. If they're both equal to null, then they are mirror images of each other. So we can return true. So if left and right, both null, we can return true. So in this second example, we have a value of null within this right side, whereas it's not null here. So if left equals null or right equals null, we can return false, right? So if one of the values is null, then it's not going to be a mirror image of itself. And then in this last tree, this last example here, we have two and three. So these values are not equal. So this is also going to return false. So if left.val does not equal right.val, also return false. So those are the base cases. This is what's gonna allow us to hop out of the recursive call stack and determine whether this is a true mirror image of itself. And then with the recursion, we are gonna do a divide and conquer where we're going to look, compare these two values, and we're also going to recurse comparing these two values. So time and space complexity are both going to be equal to O of N because we are traversing all the nodes within this tree exactly once and space complexity, because we're using recursion, we're going to be populating the recursive call stack with n nodes. Okay, so let's write this out. So let's start by creating the recursive function. When we call this recurse function, we need to pass in root.left and root.right. We don't need to initially look at the root because it's obviously going to be a mirror image of itself. We just need to compare the left subtree and the right subtree. So we can start off by doing that. So let's hand in left and right to the parameters and let's write out those base cases. So if left and right are both null, we can return true because those are mirror images of each other. If left is null or right is null, that's going to return false. Or if left val does not equal right val, we can return false. And then with the recursive call, making that call, we need to compare the left value of L. So that would be, say, this value here, this three node. We need to compare that with the right subtree and the right value of it. So we need to compare it with this three node here. We use the AND operator because we need to make sure that these values, so this four node and this four node here, are equal to each other as well. So we compare left at right. So that's the left subtree, but it's right value. And right at left. So the right subtree, but it's left value. Remember to return this recursive call and then let's give this a go. Okay, let's submit it. And there you have it. 